Alright. So today, we are going to review the 1957 Chevy Corvette from Maestro's 118 scale cars. It says, mm, I wanted to show you guys about how awesome this old school car is. And also, I haven't even opened it. And actually, I got three Maestro cars on the way. So, this is the first one I'm going to be reviewing. And I have two more that I'm going to do tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. So, let's, let's go ahead and look at it. See, it says exclusive style right there. And you can see it has a Maestro symbol. Special edition. You see it's on the side right here. See that nice secondary prim and primary colors on there with the pearlescent bright orange it looks like. Very, very awesome detail. Very, very nice. Alright, now we're gonna take a we're going to actually open the box and take a closer look at the car. So let's open it. Alright, I just opened the box, and here's what the car looks like. This car is just so gorgeous. This car is so gorgeous. You don't even know how gorgeous this car is. This car is so freaking gorgeous. Look at this. Just look at the wheels right here, like... You can see the wheels right here. You can see the um, rim detail. You can see the little rim detail right here. And you can also see the little, what's it called, hubcap right here. You can see, see the, trail, the treads on the tires. Very, 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 very nice treads, I have to say. See the front of the car. See those nice headlights and turn signals. Very, very nice. And you can see what it says right there. It says fuel injection. You guys can see it. With the nice Firebird symbol. See the nice white outline on the body. And you can see the rear tires, same as the front tires. You know what, what I actually haven't noticed is that this car, usually the 50s and, and 40s, they usually have white walls, but I'm not sure. This one doesn't have any white walls. Maybe it's, it might be a custom Corvette, or the tires got worn out over time and then they had to put more tires. I don't know. Who knows? You can see the rear, the classic, see the iconic back of the Corvette right here. AKA the best convertible car you can get in the world. You could see. Actually, this is not the best, but I'll show you guys in another video what is the best. Okay? I haven't opened all three of these cars yet, except for this one that I'm showing you guys in my cell, because I haven't even looked at this car myself. Let's see right here. The fuel injection right here. see the tail lights you can see the exhaust pipes this is actually where they put the exhaust pipes if you have if you guys haven't noticed like for car enthusiasts they would know what these are but like for just regular people these if you guys haven't known these are actually for the exhaust so yeah very strange spot to put in the exhaust you can see the license plate right here i'm not sure if so guys tell me in the comments if this is a real license plate i really like to know because that's what my so usually does. They usually put like the name of the brand or they just put like a, a random license plate. So leave it on the comments if this looks like an actual license plate. That'll be really cool if it was. You can see the side right here. And you can just see that nice bright orange pearl with a pearlescent primary color on top. This thing, this car is so awesome. Alright, now we're gonna look into the features that it holds. Okay. 
Now we're gonna do the feature that it holds, meaning that we're gonna open all the doors and see what kind of doors they are. All right, so now we're going to look inside the hood right here. Let's open. Ooh, this hood opens the other way. Dang, that's cool. All right. That's actually how far the hood goes, if you have, guys haven't noticed. Dang, you can see the engine right there. You can see the, uh, looks like a valve cover, carburetor right here. See the carburetor right here. You can see the, um, looks like a firewall. Yeah, the firewall's back here. And you can see the valve cover. You can see the ignition coils. And down here, it looks like there might be a... I look... Actually, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, yeah. Also, you can see the alternator right here. Alternator wire. It goes straight across for this classic V8 engine inside the Corvette. Before, before Corvettes got swapped out with a V12 or V10. And you can see... has the air has the engine belt right here and has a timing chain over here in the corner and you can see the you can see the um, battery and the radiator over here if you guys if you guys can see it there's like a little rubber some rubber thing over there it looks like a radiator or it might be a um, battery I'm not sure and you can see the um, firewall again. And then also, you can actually see the front grill right there. That's what the awesome part of this engine bay is. And you look on top. <clears throat> you can see the um, hood right here, how it opens. And the little gap right there where the grill goes. Very awesome, awesome detail in my opinion. Very awesome details. Right. Now we're going to look at the interior. Right, let's look at the interior real quick. The interior has like a no center console in the middle this time. You see the uh, looks like there's a choke right there. A lighter mate looks like a lighter probably. Could be a lighter, or it looks like the three. You see these three. Things right here looks like it might be for AC or heating, or it might just be heating because in the 50s it didn't have any AC. The AC you got was windows, and you can see the column shifter right there, and you can see the gear stick. So this car, that's the sign that this car is automatically you already know it's manual. It looks like a it's have four speed. It looks like a four speed manual. Could even be a five speed. It looks like it just has a five transmission gearbox. You can see the clock on the passenger side. It looks like the passenger can just look at the clock and just tell the driver, like, hey, we're late to the party or something. You can see the mirror right there. That is a that is a strange mirror place. Why would you put a mirror in here? Oh, I understand. The reason they put it here is because it's a convertible, but I guess it's also for style. Because, like, you could put it here, but I guess I just wanted it to look more cool and have much style on it yeah you can see the dashboard right here same color same color as the body you see the bottom it's the secondary primary dashboard color very very nice very nice you can see the floor in there it's like a looks like it's kind of like a grayish yeah it looks like a grayish reddish color all right, now let's open the doors. All right, nice, nice, nice doors. You can see the um, inside of the door panel over right here. You can see the, uh, looks like the, there's a door handle so you can open the door right here. It looks like a button one. And you can see uh, the windows right here to open the window so you roll it up like this and it looks like over here it looks like a speaker or it could be a 
a light right here, so if you open it, you know where the door is. Now we can see right here, there's actually, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's actually gas pedals right here, if you guys are mistaken. There's actually gas pedals right here, so you have your, because there's a manual, it has three pedals, and it looks like it's four for the parking brake. So it says right here, the big alternator, you have the accelerator, and also, you have the accelerator, and you have the uh, clutch right here, and the brake. And you can see in the back, um, see the gas can right here? I'm not sure if you guys can see it. There's a gas can right here. Oh, okay, here, here you go. Gas can right here. I didn't actually, for me, personally, I would have th thought it would have been over here, but I guess not. Interesting. I just learned something new. And you can see the seats right here. They're actually very nice seats, honestly. It has this weird thing going down the middle right here pretty pretty awesome if you think and you can see the dashboard right here very very nice and also you can see the other side the door pen right here you can see the same details on the driver the etc the window the door handle it looks like this one, this one actually has a handle right here, a handlebar right here on the other side. Does this one have it? Oh yeah, they both have it. Cool, looks like, it might be like a thing like, you know how like, you have to open the door, but then you need some kind of support, so you just grab onto that and then open the door. Very, very nice detail. Now we're going to go on the <clears throat> other side of the car. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you can see... other side of the car or aka the interior you can see the large gear stick right there that's actually dang that's a really big gear stick that's a very long gear stick and you can see the seats right here this one actually the seats i know you guys didn't tell you yet but the seats kind of feel like they have like this glossy feel to it but i don't know how to explain they're like glossy but they're like feel like fat like right here it feels like fabric but on this side the corners it feels like very glossy yeah very interesting nice detail though you see the whole dashboard right here you see the dials all going across and then you can see the the small center console with the gear stick looks like the gear stick kind of moves yeah it looks like it kind of moves Right now, it looks like it would, right now, it, since it's not moving, it would be in park, or it looks like neutral. But, who knows? You can see the, uh, the, um, things right here. This one looks like a choke right here, considering that it's, like, kind of sticking out. This one looks like an AC, maybe. And this one looks like, could be, well, it could be oil, maybe, or it could be gas. Or this one could be, you know, you know how you have to go like this with a choke or like that. That could be the parking brake right here. Could be a parking brake, so you go like this for the parking brake. Or it could be a handbrake. And you can see the uh, two. This could be like a lighter maybe, or it could be like some kind of ashtray. And you can see right here. Right here. It might be, honestly, I think it might be to control the clock, or it might be to, um, for the steering wheel, maybe, but considering it's on the passenger side, it won't be on the driver's side, so it might be on the passenger side. So maybe it might be the clock, or the dials on the dashboard right here, or it might be the seat, maybe, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so, yeah, very nice. And then now... The final openable part of this my still car is the uh, openable trunk. Now, usually my does not actually make open trunks, but I like the big scales of 118. They actually do, so that's what I pretty like. All right, so we're gonna open the trunk now. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! No way! No way! No way! 
No way. I have to see this. Well, guy, it looks like there's a spare tire in the... Guys, there's a spare tire. I love cars that have spare tire in the trunk. You know what? Because when you pop your tire on the road, then you have to get outside, and you could, underneath it, you could even put, like, something else. Well, this car had a spare tire in the back. So awesome. And you can see the, the handles right there. And you can see the whole trunk right here. Actually, a big, that is a huge trunk. I don't think Corvettes even have trunks this big, actually. As usually the Corvettes, they put, nowadays the Corvettes have the engine in the back. But this is the real Corvette right here. This is the Corvette that started it all. A 1957 Corvette. This Corvette's actually started in 1953. It started producing it all the way to 1959. 1959, where they had dual headlights. And then after that, they started to make a different different sort of model of Corvettes. Anyways, you can see the rims, same rims as the one that's on the wheelbase and chassis already. You can see the inside. It's kind of gray. Looks like you could put some luggage in here, maybe. Yeah, looks like you put some luggage or like... Looks like you could put a skateboard in here. Or like a finger, or like a tech deck, so you can pretend like your guy is going skating. Let's put it in the trunk and let's make a diorama of him going skating. Very nice. Very nice detail, Maestro. Very nice detail, Maestro. Maestro, you never give up on modeling. Do you? Maestro, in my opinion, Maestro does a very good job on these cars. Because these cars, they're just, I just love old cars in general. Because old cars are just the best. In my opinion. I don't know, but some people just don't like old cars. I just don't understand why. Old cars are just cool in general. I mean, yeah, they're expensive on the other side. I can see the other side of them saying, oh, no, it's too expensive to maintain. But other than that, they're just awesome, honestly. If you have one of these driving around the streets, you're going to be, like, the top roadmaster on the street. Because these cars don't really get that far today because in the 50s yeah they were common now they're not really common because now we have like 2000 cars and like 2019 electric cars and we have diesel gas cars that are just you know don't look cool in my opinion so that's why i think old school cars are just way better and it says right here made by my snow the best brand i think in my opinion 1957 chevrolet corvette so, that's all I have for you guys today. And if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like on that video. Leave a like on the comment section. And subscribe to my channel to see more of these reviews. And also, if you do like old school cars, just put in the comment, hashtag old school car. That would really make me happy. And I'd, I would just, like, say, thank you. I'm not the only one that likes old school cars. And there's a lot of people... Trust me, there. I am not the only one that likes old school cars. There's a lot of people out there that likes old school cars. Don't get me wrong. So, yeah. If you guys like this video, subscribe to my channel. And leave a like and a thumbs up on this video if you liked it. And put hashtag old school cars if you love old school cars. Okay? Alright. So, see you guys later. And see you tomorrow.